Yesterday I was in Wa. In fact, this week has been very busy for me. I've been up and down the country, here and there, running around holding meetings. And I reminded, it's good. There's no doubt in being investigative. But when we were able to bring down Kwesi Nyantachi, we also brought down Ghana football. That was one of the brightest spots at FIFA, which the French, French call Five. And when I met the executives of FIFA and said I was the speaker of the parliament of Ghana, I said, what happened? Why did you people do that? That it was a dynamic addition. The value that he carried at their meeting, he was highly respected and he was very influential and Ghana football was up there. We thought we were only handling Nyantechi. We didn't know we handled the whole of Ghana. Senegal is up there today because the Secretary General of the whole FIFA is a beautiful young lady. And you can beat her during elections. And she's the Secretary General of FIFA. That's the Chief Executive of FIFA. You see their stadium. You see their national team. So please, leaders don't stand alone. They stand for something that is symbolic of the country. Criticize us. Correct your children, but don't break their hands or their legs. It will affect you. And that's where we are now. And people are calling for government to forgive Nyantechi and bring him back to assist. We are able to perform the wonders in Nigeria because of the new technical team that we put in place. We were able to gather the potential young players of future, and they were prepared to die for Ghana. If we keep this team for some time, I assure you, it's not just the, the FIFA games we are going to play. Ghana will be up there again, and that's one of the soft power of our country. That's why in spite of our size, our population, and the fact that we don't have critical exports, Ghana is in the minds and mouth of everybody in the world.